I knew David Stern, the former commissioner, was not doing well, and uh, I was really bummed when I'd heard he'd passed away because he, I was there uh, interviewing him in 1984, so he, his first year on the job as commissioner, and uh, I had all of the commissioners of the four sports. It never happened before, so you had baseball, basket. So I had Pete Rozelle, David Stern, Larry Ziegler was the president of the NHL, and Bud Selig, I believe was a uh, baseball commissioner at the time. I don't think it was uh, Bowie Kuhn or Faye Vincent or whoever. Uh, so we all sat down a round table discussion when I was working at CNN. And I uh, actually had somebody go out on the street and uh, ask people if they knew who David Stern was. And of course, nobody did. And some people brought up Howard Stern. And so David Stern and I had uh, a very good relationship. I think people misread our relationship. We had great respect for one another, uh, great conversations. Uh, we poked each other. Uh, and he was instrumental in getting me to cover the NBA. That he went to ESPN and said, I want Dan Patrick to cover the NBA. And uh, I always appreciated that. But, you know, he wanted the right people covering his sport. I mean, it wasn't anything for me as much as I was the person he wanted because he knew that I knew the game. And uh, but we had we had some great conversations and I, I had great respect for him and admiration for him and his willingness to take chances. And he wasn't afraid. And I could put him he and Pete Rozelle are probably the two greatest commissioners, you know, in history. Um, you know, Rozelle had a vision as well, but so did David Stern. And he made the sport global. You know, the NFL is not anywhere near global like basketball is. And David had that, you know, I just remember him saying how important to be able to get this in other countries where you wouldn't be able to get this. And, and to be able to have, you wouldn't know it until 10 or 15 years down the road, the impact like the Bulls had on, on kids who were growing up to play. Or, you know, uh, Luka Doncic talks about seeing Manu Ginobili and how it affected him and, and how he wanted to play and learning the Euro step. And that, that's David Stern. Um, and Adam Silver has continued that. But uh, you know, my thoughts, uh, certainly prayers, condolences to uh, David's family. Uh, he, he was nothing but professional with me. And the, and the story I love to tell with David is the time that I went in, because we were talking about the new season, and he said, you know, come on in, you know, let, let, uh, let's talk. So I go into his office, all wood paneling. And I'm with one of his uh, ass assistants there. And uh, I'm hearing him yelling. I don't know where he's yelling, who he's yelling at, but he is screaming. And all of a sudden, a door opens that's wood paneling that doesn't, it's, doesn't look like a door. And he comes in and he goes, those, you know, GD contractors, God, I don't like contractors. And then he sat down and then we just started talking. I'm going, what just happened here? Because he's airing somebody out like they really did something bad. And he walks in and it's like, hey, I left it in that other room. But uh, he was always he was always somebody gave me I had his, you know, his cell number. Uh, he said, look, anything, you know, you got a question with something. If I can help you with something, if it's off the record, you know, I'll help you. And he was always there, always there. So lost a, uh, a great man there. Great commissioner as well. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.